Here's how you play Mondrian. Mondrian is a game based on the artwork of Piet Mondrian, who is considered by many to be the father of uh, graphic design. Each player gets three cards, and then one card is placed face up in the center. Uh, that's the card that everyone's going to be building off of. So as you're playing, uh, you can place your cards anywhere so long as they follow some basic rules. They have to overlap some of the card, or many cards. They have to match the colors that they're overlapping. And if you're filling in a blank space, it has to match adjacent colors. So you can see here, they both place reds over reds. And then whenever there's an overlap, you place a stone on top. These stones are the points, but they need to be captured. So the way that you capture points is by jumping. So here you can see, they put the white uh, over white, uh, the stone gets placed, and then they jump over, and the first point is scored. So that's really how gameplay works. It's, it's very straightforward. The board builds out, um, and, uh, and it's, it's really not a, a difficult game. But as the, as the board builds out, uh, it becomes more and more complex, and the board becomes more and more loaded. Um, so we sped it up here um, so you can kind of get a sense of how it, how it builds out. Uh, each player is trying to uh, get points and, and whatnot. Uh, you can play to a set number of points, you know, 25 or whatever, or you can play until the cards are done. Uh, in this game, we had a very good move down about at about the five minute mark of this video. So you can take a look there. You can see how you don't have to jump with the same stone each time. You don't have to uh, uh, jump necessarily in straight lines. You can jump, uh, well, in straight lines, but you can jump diagonally um, if there's a spot to land. Um,
you can see that uh, Sean here who's playing he's the top player here he jumped and he almost he almost kind of shortchanged himself on this awesome setup he had but you see here how he's shifting between stones um, and he's able to jump and the sequence he's jumping it's very important because it's letting him score more and more points 